Well, the world is one step closer to banning nuclear arms. Honduras has just become the 50th country to ratify the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. That means that the treaty will not come in will now, sorry, come into force in 90 days. The accord was approved by 122 countries at the UN General Assembly in 2017, but it needed to be ratified by at least 50 nations before being enacted. It declares that those countries that ratify it must never, under any circumstances, develop, test, produce, manufacture, otherwise acquire, possess, or stockpile nuclear weapons or other nuclear explosive devices. So, what does this mean for the world's future? Well, we have Alicia Sender Zachary joining us. She's a research and policy coordinator at ICANN. So, Alicia, to begin, how many nuclear weapons are actually out there in today's world? So, there are currently more than 13,000 nuclear weapons possessed by nine nuclear armed states, which is pretty shocking when we know that just one nuclear weapon has catastrophic humanitarian consequences uh, and can destroy the environment for decades to come. Now, once this treaty is enacted, what is going to happen as a result? So once the treaty enters into force uh, on January 22nd and takes full legal effect, that means that all of the treaty's prohibitions, as well as its positive obligations, uh, will take full effect for the countries that have joined this, this treaty. So that means that all 50 countries that have joined the treaty will have to assist victims of nuclear weapons use and testing, for example, will have to urge countries that have not joined the treaty to get on board. Um, and we know that the treaty will also impact even the countries that have not joined the treaty. Uh, with past weapons prohibitions, we saw that countries that did not join the, the prohibition uh, still stopped producing the prohibited weapon, mm -hmm. stopped investing in that weapon, um, and even changed their policies on use and transfer. So we really expect this, this treaty to have a widespread impact. But how can we ensure that countries actually follow the treaty? I mean, how is this going to be implemented? How can it be ensured that people will not continue developing these weapons? So there are a number of ways to implement the treaty. You know, as a start, all the countries that sign up to the treaty have to have an agreement with uh, an international inspection agency, the International Atomic Energy Agency, uh, to ensure that their peaceful nuclear energy programs are not used for weapons. Um, that's one example. Uh, another is that uh, the, the parties to the treaty will meet uh, regularly to discuss the treaty's implementation uh, to ensure not only that countries are complying with all of the obligations, uh, but also that they're fully implementing and taking steps mm -hmm. uh, to, to carry out the obligations within the treaty, um, like assisting victims of nuclear weapons use and testing um, and calling on other countries to join the treaty. Well, what has the reaction been to the 50th ratification? I mean, you mentioned this, the five main nuclear powers, the U.S., China, Russia, the U.K., and France have opposed this in the past. I mean, we've seen there's been a lot of fear among nuclear armed countries about this treaty because they know the impact that this treaty will have. Uh, just recently, in, in the week leading up to this treaty getting its 50th ratification uh, to trigger its entry into force, uh, we saw that the United States uh, was sending letters to countries that had joined the treaty, actually asking them to withdraw their instruments of ratification, to withdraw from the treaty, uh, which is a pretty unprecedented move in terms mm -hmm. of asking uh, countries to weaken their commitment to nuclear disarmament and to international law. Uh, so we know that the countries that have nuclear weapons know that this treaty uh, will really impact um, the status of their weapons, will delegitimize those weapons under international law. And that's why we see them trying to, to undermine the treaty.